Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back, and we have Extended Series Hobby. You guys would have seen it in the thumbnail. Just gonna open this up. I've had pretty good luck with it, actually. Um, I haven't opened any in a little while for an actual like full hobby box, but decided it was something different. Uh, I do have a hobby box of Series 2 to open eventually, too, um, but it's NHL season's back, so I decided to kind of do, try to do a little bit more hockey. Um, and all that other stuff. If I do find other products, whether it's football, maybe basketball, if I can find any. Wouldn't mind opening some optic basketball if I can find it. Um, but I'm not a huge basketball guy for a lot of that stuff. So, but I'm uh, waiting for a series one of 2020, 2021, or 2021, 2022, uh, whenever that's going to come out. So, um, here we go. Going to open up some of this. I'm not going to bother. I'm just <laughs> these packs for whatever reason. Easier for me to do the breaker knife. And then I'm not even going to rip the, destroy the corners of these cards. So there's that too. Um, here we go. We got Petro, Gorgiev. And he's already sticking. It's crazy. Uh, Hoffman and Peyton Krebs for the Golden Knights. Here's our first hit, I guess. But uh, a bunch of base cards. You guys have seen all the base cards. You don't need to see a bunch of them again. So we'll just keep on going. Lots of packs. We're looking for really none of the young guns from from this. The only young gun, um, regular young gun you're looking for this would be like the uh, Lafreniere, um, like super short print. It's very hard to find, um, but you're kind of looking for that young gun. It's like super, compared to his other young gun, it's worth way more money, but here we go, first young gun. Uh, we'll go this way. It's a goalie. It's for the Kings. It's Jacob Ingham. Ingham. So there we go. First young guns. Grab the stand, throw them up. Before I cover it up, uh, pack drop for the day is one Mr. Landeskog, one Mr. Boehm Byram in the middle. Both those guys end up with two points um, for the opening game for the Avalanche. And then Miko Rantanen, who had one uh, assist. I also picked out the Landy jersey. Uh, McKinnon didn't play in it, so I said I'll go with the Landy jersey. I understand he had a bad hit at the end of it. I do not condone Landis Gog and his hit on Kirby Doc. I think that was a terrible hit. I don't know what his whole thought process is. Like, he just does that some stuff. Like, it just bothers me because he's such a great player, but it's like, I don't know. He just, like, lets his mind. We got another school day photo shoot. Uh, this is going to be a center. It's for the Sharks. Frederick Handmark. So there we go. Another... It's the worst. You're doing an extended series and you get these guys with their... I just... It annoys me beyond belief. Like, I can understand that for, like, series one. Maybe you can't, haven't got a picture of them on the ice yet or whatever, but... You do an extended series, you add another product, and you just... You still have photo day, Like, photo shoots. Like, I just... Laziness. 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 Also, before... But when I end, I'm going to open up one hobby pack of Series 1. I was going to open it off stream, but every time I do that, I pull something good. So I was like, no, I'm just going to open it on camera. Uh, we got an ovation. Kale McCarr. Not a bad little pull for me. Kale looked pretty good tonight. Boom, buy him. Kale's going up over Frederick. Um, he's just... Kale's good. Bone Byram's going to be really good. Bone Byram just, like, doesn't... Like, he just runs around super aggressive for being, like, a 19, 20-year-old kid. Like, it's uh, it's crazy for sure. Uh, Hala, we got our first tribute. And it is Panarin. Sorry, Tammy Panarin. I love these. The old, Just the old style. And the tribute. Bunch of base. Bunch of base. So, excuse me. Let's see what else we can find here. Got some pretty cool uh, football cards coming to me eventually. Um, also, just worked out a deal with some guy for another McKinnon Young Guns because I need another one. Not really, but I took it anyways. Uh, this is going to be another tribute of Mark Shifley. Pretty decent. It's a nice little picture there. So Mark Shifley in the tribute. 
the Young Gun tributes are really what I've had the best luck when it comes to this stuff. I don't know if I've really sold a whole lot of like my Kaliev's or anything like that from Siri. To be honest, I haven't sold like any of my Young Guns lately. I really just like, instead of recording this, I should probably be like listing cards on eBay, but you know how that goes. Uh, oh, there's our Young Gun tribute. So we got Wenberg. We got Mark Stahl. We got Jack Eichel. Where's he gonna go? And we got a rookies for the Senators. <laughs> Not bad. I thought it was gonna be Tim Stutzel again. Uh, Josh Norris in the tribute. There we go. I've only been able to pull uh, two Stutzels already, so I haven't like. Norris is probably the worst. I've made open five of these, I think. I've got two Stutzels. I got a Connor McMichael and I got a Lafreniere. So overall, I've done pretty well when it comes to these tributes. And I just, they're such a classic style. Like, it looks so good. I'm never going to plan on getting one of those. I don't think so. Got Josh Norris up there. Got Kale McCarr up there. Got the boys up there. It's a good, it's a good opening. Uh, so here we go. McElhinney, TJ Oshi, Pasta, and Andre Sveshnikov. It's another decent tribute. Brown, Mayfield, and Domi. So I actually got one of those, one of the cards I got off. I did a big group sub for HGA, and Sveshnikov is one of those cards that's out there. Pulled him in one of those like Walmart packs, like the blister packs. You're pretty lucky there. Uh, Tori Krug, Ty Smith, rookies. So it's another decent one. Bunch of other guys. Markstrom, Schultz. You still got Markstrom in. I just don't understand it. All these guys. It's a weird. Upper deck just doesn't try when it comes to updating people and who they're playing for or anything like. Mark Shifley, got another young gun. This one's actually going to be on card. Uh, actually, like, on the ice is what I meant. It's a center, so not Lafreniere. It's going to be for the Blackhawks. Reese Johnson. Center for the Blackhawks. Once again, I think I've looked it up before. He's 21 years old. That's not bad. 23 years old? 23 years old. Man, my, eight, my numbers are... Math with this stuff lately has been terrible. Uh, we'll throw him up too. We're going to do this. Move Kale behind him a little bit. Move, move Reese in front of him a little bit. You can still see me. I still have my price thing underneath me. There you go. That's not bad. Not bad though. Reese Johnson. He said obviously you're looking for maybe, you know, like a Prezov or somebody for the tribute. Lafreniere, Stutzel. I know those have all gone down in price, um, it's from especially from when they first came out. But I think those are the kind of those are the big. Those are probably gonna be bigger than any young gun you're able to actually hit. Uh, Jimmy VC, cards stuck together. That's uh, just patch line A, and then so just a base pack. I think you get one base pack, maybe two base packs uh, per. Watch the little ripper and. His dad opened up a bunch of this stuff, and uh, I think that's what it is. I think it's one base pack per, so maybe I've pulled, like, two base packs on the, on the odd occasion, but uh, here we go. <laughs> that uh, photo shoot day background is a goalie, Joseph Corner for the Sharks. I'm really kind of anxious to see... What they do with, uh, there we go. Um, what they do with series one. I'm hoping that, like, I guess we don't know the, the checklist yet uh, for 2021, 2022. Um, but I'm hoping it's not a bunch of the same thing, like picture days and stuff. Like, make them on the ice. I know Caulfield's going to be in it. Uh, I think Byfield's in series two. That's a big guy for them. So it's going to be kind of weird to see who they're going to do for everything if they're going to do Zegris and Drysdale um 
who's going to make it up for them. It's going to be it's another base. Oh no, a French variant. A super off-center French variant. <laughs> Look at like here's the rest of the cards and how much gray they have. Like what? <laughs> like just one second here, I'll just line up the black marks. Oh, that upper deck quality control. Doesn't get any better, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't get any better. So, let's see what we get here. We got a holographics of Ty Smith for the Devils. Decent little hit. I think Ty Smith's pretty good. You get him. You get uh, Sharon Govich over there. Sharon Govich just like put up a bunch of points and like nobody talks about him last year, especially like his young gun. Like I think he was like top five for scoring for your like rookies last year. Young gun. I guess he plays in New Jersey, but you know you play in like a weird place, like still give the kids a bunch of you think he'd somebody who maybe high, higher on his card. Uh this is gonna be our finite. And Alexander Ovechkin. Pars passes Marcel Dion. There we go. Ovi showing up. We'll give Ovi some love. We'll take down Kale. And we'll put the Ovi up in front of these boys. Veterans get it. There we go. Give Ovi a spotlight. He's going to die. He might do it. He's still got a lot of goals to score, obviously, but he might do it. He might beat. He might pass Gretz as the all time scorer. Nobody, it's and that's still crazy. Like, like, okay, I'm gonna pass Gretzky for goals, and that's like you're still like not even close to his points because it's like Gretzky's points are just so much higher than anybody else. Another holographics. This one's gonna be Brock Besser. Or sorry, no, this is the nil, the nil or NHL. Sorry, I always forget because I think it's nil. Uh, NHL another holographics. It's Brock Besser. Next loss to the Oilers the other night. The shootout. Connor Garland, my guy, is over there now. He's looking good on the point. There's some rough stuff. Duncan Keith took a big hit for Tyler Myers. Uh, we got another young gun here. This one's actually going to be on the ice. The D man for the Maple Leafs. This is Miko Lettinen again. There we go. Pulled him actually uh, in a random pack opening the other day. Do that once in a while. That's the same as that. I was going to grab, I grabbed, like I said, a hobby box of series one, two and uh, an extended series. And I was like, usually I'll grab one of each for, you know, extended series and and uh, series one and series two and open them. I said, no, no, this time I'll just, I'll grab the one box. I'll grab the one pack. Kopitar. Uh, that's what we got here. It's not bad though. Josh Norris, Reese Johnson. I guess we're waiting for that Laffy. It's like something crazy, like one in every like ten cases or something like that. Uh, we got that's a clear cut. That's like what? Uh, clear cut of Ben Hutton. I get the most random clear cuts and stuff like Ben Hutton. <laughs> like my exclusives and my clear cuts. It's just like the most random players of all time. But Ben Hutton uh, <laughs> for the for the Ducks. That's my clear cut because why not? <laughs> such such random cards I get. I guess somebody's got to pull them. There's clear cuts for all the guys, but it's like, can't get one for like McDavid or Matthews or Marner or somebody like cool like that. No, no. Ben Hutton and Tyler Bertuzzi or like people like that. Uh, we got another, we got our reflections. This one's going to be Alexander Romanov. Good looking kid. Playing well for the uh, Canadians. Lost to the Leafs. It's always a rough one for 
Montreal. But they can just any Leafs fan that tries to brag about last night, it's just gonna be like or the other night was just gonna be like, hey, guess what? We beat you in the playoffs. And the Leafs fans can't really say anything for the next like I don't know, until they play the next time in the playoffs and see what they do. Uh, we got this is gonna be Niels Hoglander. This is the uh, little fake signature here. There we go. Niels Hoglander. Let's see what he does this year. What else we got? We got three packs left. Three packs left. So I think we got one more young guns, baby. Me too. I don't know if also I can't remember what I haven't opened an extended series in a while, so we got here. We got here's our it's a checklist, isn't it? What is with me in checklists? <laughs> like oh I did it again. And that'll probably be the title. I did it again. Cause that, why couldn't just can't not hit the checklist and like i'm pulling checklists out of like everything i opened up a uh, an older hobby box 2018 2019 i think it was or 2017 2018 whatever it was a couple episodes ago if you check out like the hockey if you want to watch to the end i'll probably link the hockey playlist in here you can go watch it um i had that a couple weeks ago hit the checklist in that what is this this is there we go. Uh, a marquee rookie. This is kind of like the old school. This is like dates me because like I'm pretty sure everything was like this for every card, every toy, every whatever back in the day. Everything was like this style. These like you move it and it changes, uh, changes the, the view of it or whatever. There we go. Bowen Byram, not a, not a terrible hit for me as an Avalanche fan. That's, it's a little thicker card. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that into a top loader. I have other sizes beside me, but you're going to fit in there. Ooh, that's a little too tight. What we got here, we got this one. This might work instead. I know this is everyone's favorite part. People are like, why don't you just do it at the end? Why do you got to do that now? Listen. Okay, my channel. I appreciate you watching. But some cards I just want to get in a top loader right away. And this one looks awesome. It's got like that old school retro throwback. And I think that looks just such a sweet looking card. I'll take that all day long. It's one of those things. If I can hit a Bone Byram or, to be honest, that's who I was hoping I'm going to hit for like the tribute young gun. If I can hit like a Bone Byram. Or anything with do with Avalanche, which I've been doing pretty well lately for hitting Avalanche players when it comes to this stuff. Uh, pretty good. So, get one last pack of extended, and I will be opening this. Uh, make sure you guys you haven't opening or I guess it wasn't opening. Night, it was the second night of the season. Uh, I recorded an episode. Opened up SP Authentics uh, from last year. So for me, that's big. I've never opened it before on the channel. We get a second one of these. It's odd. We got this feel like it's thicker. Do we have a bunch of cards here that's maybe I'm just crazy? Did I get sh shorted? No. So another one of these Avita Vanasek. So the goalie for the Capitals there. And we'll figure finish it off. The series one. Couldn't hit a Lafreniere in this, the short print. So we'll just pull another base Laffy out of this. That's what we're going to do here. So uh, once again, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate you guys watching. Here we go. Brady Shea. We got Jack Eichel. Did I not pass anything? Did I hit? That's what I hit. That's my hit. Uh, series one. So there's our hit. The Jack Eichel suit variation. 
that is a that's a hit that's you cannot make this stuff up ladies and gentlemen i don't know if they thought that was going to be like a bigger card i know like but even like right from the get-go they weren't even like a huge card so it's kind of weird but anyways that's uh that's a, that's the opening like i said i do have some series two uh hobby boxes of that to open up so make sure you guys check that out um got lots of hockey lots of football uh the girlfriend wants to open up some pokemon celebration so if you want to go check that out probably gonna be up in the next day or two um and yeah so anyways for eric from the bench hope everyone had a great day hockey's back great to see it and uh we'll catch you in the next episode bye guys <laughs>